Hello everyone, FSG here, hope you're all doing well. Um, we're here today to look at vehicle control add-on. Now I will be the first to admit, I am a creature of habit. I have used Wopster's guidance steering for as long as I can remember. Um, and I had no reason to not keep using it, so I didn't look at any of the other options. Until now that is. And I decided, I've actually got a bit of downtime during the holidays, I thought I'd have a look at a couple of new mods. And VCA was one of those ones that's been on my list for absolutely ages to check out. And I'm now wondering why I didn't check it out years ago. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. As an alternative to um, GPS, it's fantastic. So, I thought I would uh, jump in, show you how I found it, uh, show you how easy it is to use, and uh, maybe it can uh, encourage a few of you to consider a few options in your mods as well. Um, it does more than just GPS though, but today we're going to focus on the GPS element only. Um, but there's a couple of other cool things in there as well, I will show you at the same time. So, first things first, let's jump in a tractor. Right, we're in the tractor, we're in our field. Before we go too much further, let me just pull up the menu for it. Now, to do that, it is Control and C. And there we go, there's the vehicle control add-on menu. Now, there's a few things I'm going to change in here. Interior camera rotation, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to do it to normal. And we'll have a look at that in a little while. Everything else, I'm going to leave as is. Adaptive steering I've turned off, um, that's if you're, I think, driving with a keyboard rather than a steering wheel. So we're going to leave all that alone. Lane guidance every 90 degrees. Now that you can turn on or off. I'm going to turn that on and we'll talk about that in a little minute. Basically automatic rotation of lane guidance direction by 90 degrees. So in essence, if you get to the end of a field and want to turn and do the headlands, it will rotate the guidance for you 90 degrees and I'll show you that in a little minute. Uh, draw marker of lane guidance, uh, so that basically is, it shows the lines, so you can have if inactive, basically it will show it up like it was showing just there before we jumped into the menu, it shows it for a few seconds and then switches it off. You can also have it always on, and if I go back here now, you will see if we turn it on, it will always stay on there, pressing control W again to turn it on, uh, it will never go away, and if I go back into the menu, control C again, um, you can also have it as uh, if inactive high, always high, and again, that shows you a higher line. So maybe if you're driving through a tall crop and you want to see your course, it shows you like that. And again, back to the menu, you can have it never. Now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it on always just for now because it helps for the tutorial. Snap angle is the amount... Uh, uh, of rotation on the snapping angle of the field so I 15 degrees is quite high um, and I'll show you what I mean by that because um, you can rotate and you can shift the uh, angle of your field so if I press control now uh, and left or right it shifts your course left or right uh, and then if I press control and up it will rotate that one direction and if I press down, it rotates it the other way. But you can see it's moving in quite uh, large uh, increments there. So if you adjust that down, so let's go back to the menu again, to uh, one degree, for example, um, and go back. Now, if I do the rotation, you can see it's doing it in much smaller increments. So you've got more control over it there which is quite nice and that comes in handy when you get to the edge of a field so let's just turn things off there let's roll down to this field edge here and now actually there you see that 90 degree uh, rotation that we talked about before and again if I turn around here it will rotate it through 90 degrees now you can see our course is off here this is our edge of our field and our course is off now you've got two options here you can rotate that to make it work or you can do what we're going to do, which is cancel the course, which is Alt and W. And then we're going to turn it back on, which is Control and W. But you can see it's the direction the tractor is pointing in. So I could now move the tractor to here, have another go, switch it off, and switch it back on. And again, the angle's all wrong. So now this is your option to rotate 
to try and get your course lined up with the edges of your fields. You don't have to always do this, um, of course, on certainly on Giants maps or maps that are straight north to south. You can um, always snap to the edge of the field if you want to. But there we go. I think we've got now a pretty accurate length to the edge of our field. So, with that done, we can roll forward. There we go. And we'll lower our implement down. And off we go. Simple as that. So control W, set the edge of your field, and then away you go. So we'll get to the end here. Um, and I will show you. We can turn it off. And we'll turn and we'll show you that it goes down the other edge as well. Obviously, if you've got a square field. If you haven't got a square field, it's slightly different. But uh, we'll get down to the end here. So I'm going to turn it off. So control W again. Disconnects it. Now I'm going to turn here, like so, and we get past a certain point, and there you go. It's snapped to the other end of the field. Now you could adjust this to fit um, down so it runs along the edge. In fact, let's do that. Let's do it properly, shall we? So I could now move this down to here. And as we roll forward and turn it back on, the tractor will align with the edge of the field again. There we go. We've got a perfect straight line going down the field. Now, the next thing I want to show you, and one of the things that I think is very cool about this, which changes it quite considerably from uh, guidance steering for me, is the following. Now, if you hold Alt down and press either A or D, you can rotate to the left or the right. So I'm going to rotate to the right, obviously, because we're on the edge of the field here. Um, but here we go. We're going to make a turn. So I'm going to press... And hold, Alt, and D. And you can see the lines have popped up next to us, but they're pointing in the different direction there. So, if I roll around now, let's lift our implement as well, let's do it properly. If I roll around now, it gets to the point where it's aligned again. I'm not touching any steering here, this is all doing it through vehicle control add-on. Lower my implement again, and we're heading back in the other direction. And all I used there was a little bit of accelerator to help me go backwards and forwards. And we're heading back the other way. Brilliant. Now, there's a couple more settings that I want to show you in the menu. So, Control and C again brings this up. Now, working with, it sets this automatically for you when you have a new tool in, but you can override that as well. So I'll show you that when we go to another implement. Um, invert Offset. Um, that is if you've got a plough that has a, a rotation on it and you want to go in a different direction. Um, it will reset it the other direction. Now this is the one I wanted to talk about. Left reverse guidance lanes, right reverse guidance lanes. So what we've just done there is a reverse guidance lane. Um, but it moves you to the next row. Now if you want to skip a row, we can bump both of those up to two. Let's just do it for two now and if I head down to the end here now we're going to get to the end here, and instead of going right, we're going to go left. So we'll head down to the end here. Now in an ideal world I would have a bigger headland to work with, but this should work okay, because it's not the most uh, uh, cumbersome tool. So in this one, we're going to press Alt, and we're going to press A, and you can see it's missed a lane, and it's pushed us over to a second lane. So again, if you've got bigger implements, or you want to just skip a, a rope, there you go. You are now heading on this way. And now, of course, when you get to the end here again, you can press Alt-D. We're not going to go all the way this way. Uh, so let's lift our implement. Alt-D. And around we go. Lower implement. And we're off again. Simple as that. Very good. Now... What I want to do here is go back and fill in the gaps that I've left. So in this case, I would go Alt-D, which will take us back to the row we've already done. Now, we don't want that. We want to be in the next one along. So instead of Alt-D or Alt-A, we now press Control-D or Control-A. Now, of course, it's to the left, so I'm going to press Control-A. And you can see it's jumped a lane over in the same direction so control keeps things going in the same direction and alt 
turns you around on your course. So now, again, I could go... Uh, control A would move me over another lane. Control D would move me back a lane. And again, just for clarity, Alt D would turn me around. We've got a row skipped set in the settings. So we can go around like that. And Alt A would again turn me around on a left hand turn. Very cool indeed. I do like this. Now, um, one of those earlier settings I was talking about there, let's just jump into the menu again to talk about it quickly. Um, at the top here, interior camera rotation, I've set that to normal. Now if I go inside of the cab now, so we're rolling along here, I want to do uh, a right hand turn into my next lane. If I press Alt D, now I'm not touching anything here other than Alt D. Alt D, do you see how the camera turns in the cab? So it's almost like it's looking the direction you're travelling in. I think that's a really nice little touch that if you drive a lot in cab. It feels a little bit more immersive, feels, feels a little bit more real. So I do like that. Very nice indeed. Right, I've just jumped back into the menu here. Um, that is the end of the uh, guidance steering options, track guidance as they call it in here. Now below here we've also got things around throttles, brakes, transmission, throttle limiters, lower brake force, permanent keep speed. Lots and lots of different things which I've not really looked into in great detail yet. Traction control is an interesting one as well. Um, controls brakes individually, uh, wheels in case of slip. So something interesting in there if you've maybe got uh, the mud mod installed or something like that which is interesting and then you can also deal with your differentials and your all-wheel drive settings as well if you want to that's probably for another vid but for now just enjoying the fact that we've got an alternative to gps to play with so let me just rotate around one more time alt d we skip a row and then we're back on here to sort this out like so um, of course I would probably do a lot bigger headlands there we avoid some of that mess at the ends but uh, there we go now another little setting I was going to show you here is permanent keep speed which is quite a nice one in throttle brakes and transmission um, now if you turn this on um, basically your accelerator acts as a uh, a bit of a cruise control. Um, now I'm using it on the keyboard at the moment, but again, if I press my accelerator on my pedals, the same thing would happen. I can press W once, and you get one mile an hour, 1.3, 1.9, and every time I press my W key, it goes up a few points, but it doesn't go higher than that, which is quite nice. So you can control your speed quite nicely. So let's say we can go to the max of the implement here. But then when I get towards a headland, I can bring it down a couple of miles an hour. Lift my implement. Alt A to rotate. And once we're happy that we're lined up again, I can lower my implement. And we can move forward again. So there we go, up to 9 miles an hour. And it will stay at 9 miles an hour now. Which I do like, that's a nice touch that as well. Okay, just a quick run through of those controls again so you've got them. Control W turns on guidance steering. Control W also switches it off so you can move around without it being locked onto that direction. Uh, now, if your width is off, so we've got it set here, but let's put this up to, let's say, 20 uh, and go back you can see now and that does not match the width of our implement so in this case it would be control alt and w would set your width um, if you want to uh, move your course to the left or right it's control and your left arrow or control and your right arrow to rotate your course it is control up or if you want to rotate it to the right, it is control and down. And remember, you can adjust the degrees at which you rotate that with in the menu as well. Um, if you want to cancel the course altogether, Alt W will switch it off entirely. And then Control W switches it back on. And there you go. Simple as that.
in the menu here if you want to skip lanes you can put the number of lanes you want to skip in here um, we'll go back to one for now um, but if I lower down the implement now and roll forward if you want to move one lane to your left it is control A like so if you want to move one lane to your right it is control and D like so and again control D if you want to turn your tractor around and head back in a new lane it is alt D to go right there we go or if you want to go to your left it is again alt but with A this time there we go it is really quick and really easy to set up I have to say I'm very impressed with it but one of the main reasons I am seriously considering using this a lot more is for offset tools and let me show you about that now it just so happens we have a plow here very handy so let's just reverse up get this connected there we go and let's roll just into the field a little bit here now this is the tractor we were using with a cultivator which I've abandoned down there so if I turn on now like so you can see it's recorded our old course here um, so that's not much use to me um, we need it to make sure we've got the width of the plow on here but if I do control alt w again to set the width there you go it has set the width with an offset now this is one of my biggest frustrations with uh, guidance steering is the offset it doesn't work very well with offset machines so far so good vehicle control add-on working amazingly well so um, one other thing you need to check if you've got an offset tool however if we go into the menu once more is to make sure you have invert offset switched on uh, and you'll see what I mean by that when we uh, head down the field and turn around so let's drop the plow in let's turn things on so control W and there we go we're plowing nicely now what we want to do, I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom, but what we want to do here is get to our imaginary end of field. I'm going to lift my implement. Now I'm going to rotate my plough, of course. And while we're rotating, we will turn things around. So I'm doing this manually at the moment, but you can do this using Alt A and D if you want to. But there we go. There we go, I realised my tractor was on the wrong side, um, but we lower this down now, switch on PCA again, and there we go, we are ploughing. So like I said, I did that manually that time, but what we'll do when we get to the end here again, we will stop, raise our implement, Alt A, will spin us around so again all I'm using here is the accelerator to get myself into position now I am going to reverse back here to make sure this is lined up nicely there we go lower down and away we go and we'll do it one more time when we get to the end here but working perfectly every time uh, it works brilliantly with anything that's offset so mowers uh, pull behind forage harvesters, things like that. I've yet to find anything that it uh, it struggles with, which is brilliant. So again, raise implement, Alt D, because we're going to be turning this time to our right. Turn things around. So reverse back slightly. Lower things down. Ah, I see. Forgot to rotate my plough. That's what went wrong there. Too many things to think about. Can't multitask. My bloke. There we go. That was the bit I missed. And you still have to do that manually. Unfortunately, no uh, uh, 
uh, headland guidance on yet now that is a tool that works very well with this actually so maybe another vid for that coming along in the future but uh, that would rotate your player for you automatically but for now we have to do it manually so there we go and let's do it one more time without me forgetting to rotate the plow alt a bit of accelerator let's rotate things around you do need quite big headlands i think on the turns especially with something like a plow um to make things turn properly that turning circle of the tractors isn't amazing so there we go we're off again all the way down to the bottom now we have that 90 degree rotation on as well so if we ever got down to the point at which we'd done all our up and down rows in the field we could just lift our plow switch it off using alt w oh sorry control w as normal and there we go we could then get stuck into our headlands So, just before we go then, I've had the lines on permanently the whole time we've been on this, purely for the tutorial purposes, but Control c let's run it just for a little bit with if inactive, so you can see the difference. So there we go, we're switched on here, I can start rolling forward, and it disappears, so nothing happening there. Now we'll get to the end of our row here. I'll hit the stop button, I'll raise the implement. Now I'm going to rotate the implement and we're going to rotate to our next row. And you can see it appears for a few seconds to let you see what's happening. We'll roll round, get into position, like so, and reverse back slightly, get lined up, lower it down, but as soon as you're lined up, they disappear again so you've got a little bit more realism there um, equally you can run them off completely the whole time and I think I'll probably start doing that once I get my I, my head around it and I get the hang of things but um, loving it really liking it so you're probably saying to yourself well, what's not to like FSG this is amazing um, and I know there's a lot of you out there who use it already a um, couple of things that um, a little bit frustrating for me that it doesn't do that are different from um, guided steering by Wapster. It cannot save courses. So, like you can in guidance steering, you can save courses, you can share courses with friends on multiplayer. It doesn't do that. It does save your last course, however. So if you quit out of the game and come back and you've only half ploughed a field, it will remember the last course that you've got loaded in. But you don't. You can't have a, a, a shared courses across a farm. Uh, for other people to pick up they would have to run it independently so it feels more like a single player uh, tool than a multiplayer tool um, and the only other bugbear and this is me really um, clutching at straws now is is I don't like the I don't like the lines um, I think they're just a little bit ugly um, I think GPS does it a lot more in a more sophisticated way with just those thin lines uh, but I mean, I'm like I said, I'm really clutching at straws there because, other than the saving of, uh, other than the saving of uh, courses, um, this is this is a fantastic tool. And like I said, I'm gonna open my mind a little bit more and uh, stop becoming such a creature of habit, and and try a few more interesting and quirky tools in the future. So if there's any out there that you guys use and you scratch your head and go, why does FSG not use that? Um, let me know. I'd love to hear what they are and I'd love to have a look at them. Um, but there we go. Um, maybe another vid coming down the line with head headland management too, because that's uh, something I used in FS19 with GPS, but not with uh, vehicle control add-on. So uh, I'm looking forward to giving that a go as well, because I think there's some potential in that for sure. But for now, from me, the farm sim guy, that was vehicle control add-on. I am a convert. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.